now present George Edwards in Frankenstein. Baron Frankenstein is taking shelter in the good ship Voyager, where he is the guest of Captain Walton. While the Voyager was icebound, Frankenstein told the captain some of his tragic stories. He told of the creation of the monster, of its escape and return. I trust that you had a refreshing sleep, Baron Frankenstein. Certainly looked much better this morning. Thank you, Captain. I slept very well, and I feel that my strength is gradually returning. I am glad to hear that. Do you feel inclined to tell me some more of your story? Well, I remember telling you how the monster had returned. He had learned to speak, and he begged me to make him a mate. Yes. One cannot help feeling a little sorry for him. I know what it is to be bitterly lonely. I also know. But the monster rushed out of the house when I refused. My wife and I discussed the matter. I sent for the burgomaster and begged that his officers would look for the monster. Some little time later, the storm burst in all its fury. The rain came down in torrents, and the thunder roared. My wife approached me angrily. Victor, do you know that Justine has not brought little William home yet? I had almost forgotten about them, Elizabeth. Are you sure they have not come home? I have searched the house. I have asked the other servants. They have seen no sign of them. Dear, this is most disturbing. You instructed the woman to come home before the storm burst. They have been out for a long time. Do you think we should go and look for them? Well, they only went to the edge of the lake. I sure they cannot be far away. I am worried, Victor. You know the monster is loose out there. Suppose that he were to attack William or Justin. Oh, there is no fear of that. Undoubtedly, Justine and William are taking shelter somewhere. I hope that you are right. But Justine, you have returned. Where is William? How can I tell you? Speak, girl. Where is William? I took him to the lake. But I was playing with him there. He ran away from me. He went into the woods. I took it a long time to find him, but I failed. I called his name time and time again, but there was no reply. Then the storm burst. I became panic stricken. I have been out in the rain searching for him. I fear that he may have fallen into the lake. Victor, you must go at once. Find the burgomaster and his men. Tell them to forget about the monster. They must find William. I will go now. Have hope and courage, Elizabeth. I am sure that I will find William somewhere. Madam, how can I ask your forgiveness? I swear that I meant no harm to come to the child. You should have stayed with him, Justine. If any harm has come to me, I will never forgive myself. Well, go and change your clothes. You are very cool. And then come down here. We will wait patiently for Baron Frankenstein to return. Ah, Victor, you have not gone yet. I am taking some of the servants with me. I have left word uh, here that if the burgomaster and his men return, they are to look for William. Wait for me, Elizabeth. I will return as soon as possible. Well, Baron Frankenstein, did you succeed in finding the child? Well, for two hours I searched, taking my faithful servants with me. We wandered through the woods, calling the child's name, but there was no reply. At last, somewhat dispirited, I returned home to find my wife and Justine waiting for me. As soon as I entered... Victor, is there any news? Did you see any sign of him? Not a sign. He must have fallen into the lake. And it was my fault, Victor. I am distracted. What can have become of William? I do not know, my dear. Did the burgomaster return? He has not been back yet. The storm is abating. Yeah, it is passing. We will continue our search all through the night. This I hear men voices. Oh, the burgomaster is returning. Bring him in here, Justine. As you command, Baron Frankenstein. Oh, I blame myself for this in a way. Victor, we should never have allowed Justine to take William out today. She should have taken better care of him. She should never have allowed him to stay out of her sight. What is that? A woman screamed. Victor, what can it mean? Burgomaster, what has happened? Who screamed? I am calling to tell you, Baron Frankenstein. That a tragedy has occurred. My men have found the body of the child, William. William? He's dead? Yeah. The girl Justine saw his body when we were carrying it in. My men are holding her. Elizabeth, I do not know what to say to you. Burgomaster. Tell us what has happened. I only know that we were searching for this monster of whom Baron Frankenstein spoke. 
During the course of our search, we looked through some rushes on the edge of the lake, and there we found the body of the boy, William. Oh. He was lying face downward in shallow water, and he was dead oh. when we found him. Did you send for a doctor? No, we did. But the doctor could not have helped in this case, Baron Frankenstein. Do you think the boy tripped and fell into the water? I think that he was pushed into the water. Oh. And I think Justine was responsible for the crime. Oh, no. You must not say that. You have been away, both of you. But it is common talk here that Justine disliked the boy. She was always scolding him. And she told people that he was a difficult child. And we think that in a fit of rage... She pushed him into the water. Oh, I do not think that is possible. Well, let us have the girl in here and question her now. But my wife is grief-stricken. She need not remain here. Let me go and look about the body of William. I will send Justin to you. Very well, my dear. But do not distress yourself. Please go to your room and rest. I feel that I shall never be able to rest peacefully again. I will wait here with the burgomaster. Tell them to bring Justine in here. Very well, my dear. I know this is most distressing for you, Baron Frankenstein, but I have my duty to do. And if my suspicions are correct, then Justine will be arrested. Tell me this. Did you see any sign of the monster? Any huge footprint? Nine, we did not. The rain was coming down in torrents. No footprints would be left. Oh, bring Justine in here. Why have these men seized me? I have committed no crime. Hear me, girl. Is it not true that you were always scolding the child? He was a favored child. And as he was in my charge, I have to correct his fault. You are a woman of unbridled temper. And at times you have been known to strike the child. Why, this is news to me, Borgomaster. She has been seen to strike the child. That is not true. That is true. Will you admit that at times you have struck him? Yes, I have struck him. But merely because he deserved it. You had no right to do that. Hear me, Justine. Is it not true that in a fit of rage, you pushed the child into the lake? That is untrue. I swear I did not push him into the lake. He ran away from me. He went into the woods, and I could not find him. You must believe me. Ah, uh, we do not believe you. Baron Frankenstein, you know I would not kill the child. Address your remarks to me, Justine. Is it not true that in a fit of rage, you pushed the child into the lake, and then you were afraid of your mad act? You wandered around in the rain for hours and pretended you were looking for him. It is not true. Did you quarrel with him today? I was angry with him for running away from me. And I said I would slap him if I caught him. You terrified the child. I did not kill him. I am going to arrest you and charge you with the murder. You will stand your trial in due time. Baron Frankenstein, I appeal to you. I swear that the child came to no harm at my hand. I have served your family faithfully and well these many years. I did not murder William. You cannot believe it of me. I beg that you do not allow him to arrest me. Burgomaster, oh, I think you are being rather hasty. I cannot believe that Justine pushed the child into the lake. It is my duty to arrest criminals. And I suspect her of having committed a murder. You are a stupid man. There is no proof that I did it. Yeah, we will find proof. What has happened? Oh, Elizabeth, you have returned. I first I wanted to know what was happening here. And I thought that you should go and look on the body of William. Justine has been arrested. The burgomaster thinks that she killed William. Baroness, save me. Do not let them arrest me. I did not kill the child. You believe me. You must believe me. Burgomaster. Why do you say that Justine killed the child? Who else would have done it? Wait here. I wish to go and look on the body of the child. Do not take Justine away until I speak with you again. Very well. We will wait for you, Baron Frankenstein. I will return in a few minutes. Now, Justine, it will be better for you if you tell the truth. If you confess, then there may be a chance of saving your life. But if you persist in your denial and the court finds you guilty, then you will surely die. But I am not guilty. And I know the Baroness does not believe that I am guilty. Perhaps the Baroness is not aware that at 
times you struck the child. Is that true, Justine? I had to correct his fault. Never at any time did I strike him hard. Oh, you had no right to strike him. I go to my knees before you, Baroness. I swear I am innocent of this charge. Please help me. Enough of that, Justine. You shall receive a fair trial. But I am convinced that you are guilty. Hey, Uncle Master. This girl is not to be taken from the house. What ails you, Baron Frankenstein? She did not murder the child. What? How do you know? Did you not observe the marks upon the child's throat? He was strangled. The marks were the same as those upon the throat of my poor servant, Julio. I am in reality the murderer of that child. Baron Frankenstein, what tragedy you have faced. Well, even now, when I think of it, I feel that I loathe that devil. But I cannot die yet. Will you tell me some more of the story? Not now. Let me just rest for a while. Come to me later, and you shall hear further details of my tragic life. 